There we go. Hello, everyone. We're back. We got more stuff. Um, I think we're, we're choosing a little bit of a three muscle groups per strength training. You can repeat it anytime. The nice thing is you have the video. You can repeat it. And the other nice thing is if you see anything that I'm not doing correct, you will get me for that. I'm sure you will. So we got, instead of the bands, we got the kettlebells. But I'm sure you don't have kettlebells at home. So if you have, I'm going to turn them around. This could be, uh, I don't know, can of soup, something. Something that you feel is anywhere between three and five pounds. I think it's more than enough. If you find five too many, three pounds, two pounds, it doesn't really matter because you can do more repetitions at home. You don't have to follow the group anyway. So I wanted to do some shoulders and some triceps. So your best position, and don't forget, is hip width apart because you're really in a really good balanced position. You want to isolate some muscle groups you're not gonna throw everything together. You think about, am I straight and strong? Belly button in a little bit and you're organized. And I got here two five pound dumbbells. So you don't, of course, don't have to use dumbbells. If you have weights, you use weights, doesn't matter. But I wanna target the shoulders on the side and the shoulders on the top. So we wanna do a lateral shoulder raise, nice and slow. One, two, three, one. Breathing out on the lifting, all the time, think about that. It's really important to keep the breathing going. You don't want to raise your blood pressure. If you, if you have trouble with blood pressure, even more reasons for you to keep your mind in the game. Breathing out on the lifting. And like we do with all the other things. Some people like to do 10. They say, okay, you know what, 10 is enough. I can feel it, that's more than enough. They say, I don't really feel it at all. And you don't have any other weights. So you do 15, you do 20. What about one side? What about the other side? Now, I personally like to do one side. For example, I'm putting one down, and if you do that at home, make sure you know where it is. Don't say step on it. And focus on one side only. Not only would you realize which side of your body is stronger, but it really works your abdominals to stabilize your body. Because when we get groceries, you always use one side and not two sides. Most likely one arm needs more than the other. So, okay, I'll do eight, approximately eight, approximately 10. And then I go over to the other side, get that arm out of the way and say, oh, interesting. Right-handed people might have a stronger left side. Very weird to think about it, but we carry stuff to the left side. As you use your right hand for, you know, opening doors, opening trunk, whatever that is. So if you like that one hand idea, you can challenge yourself to bring your feet closer together. We always do that in class too, right? We just want to challenge to see how is our balance doing. And if your shoulders are okay, you can do a few more on one side. Say, how does this feel? I can feel the challenge, I can feel a little bit of stability challenge, so that's a good thing. If I want to do six on one, and then six on the other, then I get a good idea how my balance do. And sometimes you balance better on one side than another. Then you say I'll do six here, well you know how good I am at counting, right? So I could be counting six, I could be seven, because I talk a lot. So I have no idea if this is now six or eight, but you're in charge of your own stuff. Challenge yourself more. Make that tandem position, one foot in front of the other. Belly button is straight, pelvis is straight. Say, so you know what, I'm gonna see, can I do this? Ooh, I gotta watch it, don't fall. So really good things to think about. Keeping your abdominals strong, keep your stabilizers strong, keep your body in alignment, breathe, all kind of stuff to think about. Other side, same thing. Now you can take the other arm, or you can change your legs first, and say, okay, one foot in front of the other. Be aware that the weight is in both feet, soft on the knees, and say, can I do that one? So a little bit of progression with your shoulders. You do, you don't, you add to it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so do a little bit of variety. Second one I wanted to do is the shoulder press. And it's very important that we can reach high with something in the cupboard all your extra food stuff, right? In the cupboard, all your cans. Gotta have a bit of strength in there. But, 
People with high blood pressure trying to stay just under here. Oh, why not? Let's play it all safe, right? We're gonna do all this stuff to maintain our strength, to do our best, to keep what we have, maybe gain a little bit more, that's okay. Not weight though, strength, yes. So if you're okay, blood pressure is okay, breathing is okay, breathing in, breathing out, you can go up all the way, but remember breathing is extremely important because you're going above your heart and you can say, I do six, I do 10, I do four, you can go in the front, good variety because you think putting stuff in the cupboard, it's more from the front part, so you do that, it's front shoulders in there, all kind of varieties. What I like to add to it is a little chest in there, push up, little chest in there, push up, little chest in there. So with that one, you have done your lateral shoulders, you have done front shoulders, you have done shoulder press, you have done single movements, so you've got some abdominals in there, and you've got some stability in there to make sure you can do this on your own too. Cool? See you soon in the next video. You take care, I'll see you soon.